Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu and in this video tutorial I'm going to take a step further from the previous video tutorial. I'm going to test now my mobile app to make sure that it's displayed in the same way that it's displayed on Android, it's going to be displayed on the iOS mobile phones as well. In order for me to do this, let's exit the simulator, the Android simulator. In order to, for me to do this, I need to basically test this mobile app into an iOS simulator. To activate the iOS simulator, I need to make sure that I've got a Mac Mini or a MacBook or any Macintosh computer on my lo local network or on a remote network. So in this case, I've got my Mac Mini. And as you can see, the icon is green because the connection is already created. In order for you to create a connection with the local Macintosh computer or remote Macintosh computer, you need to put the IP address of the Macintosh computer here. Add the IP address or the Mac name and then click Add. And then it's going to ask you to add your username and your password. And once you have the correct cred credentials, then the connection will be will complete. So once the connection is completed successfully, you will see this little icon here and this button says disconnect. So I'm not going to disconnect. I'm just going to exit this window. So now I've got my connection with my Mac Mini here on my Windows operating system within Visual Studio. I'm going to drop down the list here. I'm going to select any of these iPhones. I'm going to click on the first one here and click once here to run the simulator. Give some time for the simulator to load. And now we'll be able to see that my mobile app doesn't look the way I want on an iPhone. So let's fix this. So I'm going to exit this. And here on the page 2 we are. What I'm going to do. I'm just going to press the enter key after the content page. And here, so we have our stack layout here. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a grid tag. And my grid tag will close right below the st stack layout. After the grid tag, I'm going to create an image tag. And the source for this image, it's going to be the background image here. It's going to copy the background picture and paste it here. Control V to paste. Uh, I do not longer need this background picture here. Otherwise, it's going to give me an issue. Let's stop the project because the project is still running. And here I need to apply aspect oops and then the option I'm going to select aspect fill and I'm just going to close my image tag so my image tag is within the grid okay and it's going to be static but I want the content after this to be scrollable. So I'm just going to create a scroll tag, a scroll view tag. Oops. And I'm just going to transfer this scroll view closing tag right below the stack layout. Let's use some indentation here. Okay, so I've got everything nice and clean. So you can actually see the indentation here where everything begins and ends. So as you can see here, I've got my grid. Within my grid, I've got the image and the scroll view. Within the scroll view, I've got the stack layout. And then within my stack layout, I've got the label at the moment. I'm just going to press play now to test my app in a similar way we had it on the uh, Android. So as you can see here, I'm on page one and it doesn't look good. If I go to page two 
on page two, I've got the content the way I want it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this on the side for now. I'm just going to basically follow the same process as I follow to the rest of the pages. So in this case, I'm just going to copy the grid. Right click copy. Because the pages that I've got, the only difference in between page one and page two here on the label. Let's press the enter key a few times here. It's just the label here says page one. So I'm going to right click here and basically replace what I've got there and just put that page one. And also I'm going to remove my background from here. And I'm just going to save everything. I'm going to go to the simulator. And if I go now to page one, I will be able to see the page one looks the way I want it. So page one and page two are done. However, the about us page is still a bit dodgy. So what I need to do is follow the same process. I'm just going to go to the about us page. I'm just going to press the enter key a few times just to separate the stack layout. I'm going to control V to paste the grid here. I'm going to highlight the comment here. Welcome to the about me page. I'm going to control C. I'm going to control V here. And this stack layout can be deleted now. And the background can be deleted as well. So the scroll view, let's put some indentation there. Let's save all the files now. Let's go back to our simulator. And let's check now all the pages. So page one looks good. Page two looks good. And the about us page looks good. So we'll close this now and stop the simulator. Let's use an iPad now. Let's use an iPad Air. Let's press play. Okay, our mobile app looks spot on on an iPad as well. Exactly the way we want it. And if we go back now to the Android version, it looks good. And it looks the way we expect the app to look. So we can exit this and we could actually try to add more android devices as well but take my word for it it looks good and looks exactly the way we want and we fix this by actually introducing the grid tag the image tag the aspect aspect fill and the scroll view. Now the scroll view will come more handy later on where we add more content into our mobile app. I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will use these new skills of yours in order to create some good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.